Hey welders, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to talk about a different way to do uh, GMAW welding. What we're going to be talking about is spray transfer. Now, as you may or may not know, there's three methods to do MIG welding. I'm sorry, GMAW welding. There's the short circuit, which is the standard method. There's globular transfer, which is usually a mistake. And there is spray transfer. Now, to do spray transfer, you're going to need to up your settings because spray transfer happens at high amperage and a high wire feed speed. And you're going to need some special gas. So we're going to get into that. We're going to show you the difference between the two and compare them side by side using the Eastwood MIG-250 welder. All right, welders. The first thing we need to talk about is gas. This is your standard uh, shielding gas. 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. I know some of you may use 100% carbon dioxide, but let's just call this, which is also known as C25, the standard shielding gas for GMAW welding of ferrous metals. You use pure argon for non-ferrous metals. Well, this is good for short circuit welding, but it is not going to help you when we talk about spray transfer for the simple reason that you need at least 80% argon in the mix to achieve spray transfer. The argon causes a pinch effect on the wire and the high voltage and amperage allows the spray transfer to occur. So let's look at the type of gas you are going to need. Mm. All right, welders, this is one of the magic mixes. 90% argon, 10% carbon dioxide. Remember, I said you need at least 80% argon to achieve the spray transfer. And it can be done with 100% argon, but you're going to lack penetration. So 90% argon, 10% carbon dioxide, or 98% argon, 2% oxygen. Both of those gas mixes are suitable for spray transfer. Now, the 9010 you can use for regular GMAW shielding. I've never tried the 982 for a plain old short circuit, so I don't know what to tell you there. But I know the 9010 is good for plain old GMA short circuit. All right, this chart is from the modern welding book by Bowstitch, 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 and Bowstitch. And it is the 11th edition. And these talk about the, the currents that you're going to need to set your machine up to achieve uh, spray transfer. So you can see I'm using a 030 wire mild steel. So it's asking for 98.2 and a minimum of 150 amps. Now, as it turns out, with the Eastwood MIG-250, that equates to 30 volts and 600 inches per minute of wire speed. Your machine may be different, but you'll know that you get to spray transfer when the bacon frying sound is gone and all you get is a nice hiss, which you'll hear in the demonstration video coming up. Here's just a little pictorial from Modern Welding again showing you what the spray transfer looks like were it actually a cartoon. <laughs> Alright, here is our plain old vanilla GMAW um, 18 volts, 180 on the wire feed speed with the 7525 gas. It's the same GMAW you know and love. Okay, here we are doing the spray transfer. And this is a drag technique. And you can see I'm covering that three inches pretty damn quick. Um, had a couple starts and stops there just because it looked like it was getting a little bit too hot. 
but it took about 20 seconds or about two-thirds of the time it took to do the same weld with the short circuit method. So that's a pretty significant time savings, plus it's laying down a hell of a lot more metal. Now here's another um, chart from the Modern Welding book. This one shows the metal deposited according to the pounds per hour. You can see that short circuit transfer is depositing two to six pounds per hour and spray transfer is 6 to 12. So you're laying down twice the metal in the same amount of time, which means you know you should be able to move twice as fast. All right, first up here is a look at the two welds. I drew two beads with each transfer method. The short circuit is on the bottom. The spray transfer is on the top. All right, here you can look at the uh, width of the beads. The short circuit ones on the bottom are just a blonde one over a quarter of an inch. And the ones on the top are just about a half an inch. So you can see double the width in two-thirds the time. The height of them is pretty much equal. Now if we look at this picture, you can see our beads are three inches long. It took 20 seconds to run the spray transfer bead and 30 seconds to run the uh, short circuit bead. The spray transfer is a straight drag. The short circuit is a kind of the backward C motion looking thingy. So that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding, an introduction to spray transfer. In a future episode, we'll get more into it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do something already.